Now let's get to a developing story where the ComEd bribery trial is now in the hands of a jury. WGN's Julian Cruz has been covering the trial from the beginning. He joins us now from the Dirksen Federal Building. Julian? Well, Ben and Lourdes government lawyers, through their rebuttal argument, getting the final word after six weeks of grueling testimony and evidence and secret recordings, jurors embarking on what is likely to be a difficult journey, reaching a unanimous verdict in this hugely complicated political corruption trial. We're not talking about amateurs here. Assistant U.S. Attorney Amar Bachu tells jurors during rebuttal arguments they were not playing checkers, he continues, referring to the co defendants. They were playing chess and they were grandmasters of corruption. The grandmasters of corruption, according to federal prosecutors, former ComEd CEO and promissory, Michael Madigan loyalist Mike McLean, former lobbyist John Hooker, and consultant Jay Doherty facing possible jail time if jurors reach a guilty verdict on corruption charges. But defense attorneys like Mike Gillespie arguing their clients did nothing wrong. Jay is a Chicago guy, says Gillespie, regarding his client Jay Doherty, and he has nothing to do with Springfield. Zero, not a thing, Gillespie tells jurors in an 80-minute long closing argument at Chicago's federal courthouse. He's also not a Madigan guy, pure and simple. He's not on one of those tapes with Mike Madigan. He's not on the magic lobbying list. Defense attorneys arguing their clients were engaged in legal and constitutionally protected lobbying, but federal prosecutors seeing it differently, the ComEd 4, as they've come to be known, facing bribery charges, accused of falsifying ComEd financial records and books while orchestrating a scheme to bribe then Illinois House Speaker Michael Madigan over an eight-year period beginning in 2011, allegedly in exchange for Madigan's support of ComEd's legislative agenda. Now, Michael Madigan, not on trial here, but he is expected to have his own political corruption trial. It is scheduled for next year. At the Dirksen Federal Building, Julian Cruz, WGN News.